Good evening. Perth has been hit by a once-in-a-century weather event, bringing the second wettest day on record. Tonight, it's also triggered an evacuation alert to our northeast. The city was drenched by more than 100 millimetres of rain in 24 hours, flooding roads and homes and causing traffic chaos. Tonight, there's a developing emergency in Northam, where the Avon River is in danger of bursting its banks and flooding homes. Ellie Cormack is there tonight, and Ellie, people who live along the river there are at risk. Tim, uh, people in Northern haven't seen these flood level levels in nearly two decades. You can see behind me the uh, Morlock River is literally lapping at the fences of some properties, while another resident I spoke to, his backyard is completely flooded. Water creeping 150 metres onto his property in just 12 hours. It's come through from there in the last 24 hours. So... Yeah, it's a bit of a worry. And rising, has it risen quickly? Yes, very quickly, yes, yeah. Never seen it ever, ever like this before. We should just get out if it gets, uh, comes up to the house, of course, but I don't think it will do that. So powerful and rapid flooding for the Avon River catchment. Uh, since Wednesday morning, nearly 100 millimetres has, of rain has fallen in the area. Water is moving very quickly at the moment. The bomb says uh, flood levels are rising and will continue to do so overnight. People in the areas of Seabrook and Mullachine are told to prepare to evacuate. An evacuation centre has been set up in the middle of town. Uh, the towns of 2J, Beverley and York also uh, in the Avon River catchment. Uh, there's minor flooding there and waters are not expected to recede for at least a few days. Tim. All right, Ellie, thanks for the update. An urgent flood alert is also out for the Swan River tonight with levels expected to rise rapidly in the coming 24 hours. It's on the back of those record-breaking rains that washed out homes, flooded roads and put cars underwater across the city. Perth brought to a standstill. Nearly ten times the average February rainfall dumped on the city in just one day. The downpour caused chaos. Homes and businesses flooded, roads submerged. It was Perth's second wettest day ever and just six millimetres less than our rainiest day exactly 25 years ago. Perth also set a cold weather record. Yesterday was the coolest February day since records began. The temperature only hitting a maximum of 17.4 degrees. The summer deluge caught some early morning commuters off guard. John Sanders Drive in Osborne Park transformed into a river. Peter Robertson was on his way to work when his car stalled in the flood waters. I thought it's a, it's a diesel car so it can probably handle the puddles a bit better but so much for that theory. The heaviest falls came before dawn. By morning the extent of the damage was clear. The ceiling at this Subiaco apartment block collapsed. This home in Seville Grove flooded and business owners arrived at work to find their Welsh pool factory underwater. Another warehouse in Rockingham also flooded, stock damaged. Homes were sandbagged, but for many it was too late. SES crews responded to 150 calls across the metro area alone. Authorities racing against the clock, with more rain forecast over the weekend. We're endeavouring to help as many of the people in the community as we can, and as well as prepare for potential flooding events over the next few days. More than 114 millimetres of rain fell in Perth in the 24 hours up until 9 this morning. 112 millimetres at South Perth, 107 at Medina and almost 100 millimetres at Jandicott. To be forecasting that amount of rainfall for a city whose average monthly rainfall is 15 millimetres seven days in advance is extraordinary. In Scarborough, Abbott Park was completely swamped. Well, it always gets a bit of a 
puddle here around um, when it rains, but uh, I've never seen it like this before. The drenching even taking locals by surprise. We come down here and kick the footy all the time and, yeah, you wouldn't get this in the summer. You barely even get this in the winter, so like, for this to be in the summer is pretty wild. And there were similar scenes across the suburbs. Massive rainfall recorded outside the city too. 117 millimetres fell at Williams, 116 at Diggers Rest and 101 millimetres in Narragin. The nightmare conditions caused traffic chaos and crashes. RAC recording a 30% spike in call-outs. Main roads pleading for motorists to be patient while the deluge was cleared. The people that we have on the ground are doing their very best to try to mitigate these. Fallen power lines knocked out power to thousands. Nine and a half thousand households without electricity at the peak of the wild weather. But it wasn't all bad. Locals in Rockingham deciding to take their biscuit for a spin on the flooded roads. Paul O'Driscoll braving the waters. We were just standing there watching the cars wade through um, and someone shouted, oh, big fun, fun to get the biscuit out. And it was like, you can't go back from that, you've got to do it. In Waikiki, these guys used a kayak to get around. And in Bateman, a local park became a surf spot. The system was caused by a tropical low in the Pilbara, a cloud band associated with that bringing heavy rainfall for Perth. Tegan Sapwell, Nine News.